Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my Fallout New Vegas Unique Guns Weapon Guide. This guide will showcase and explain how to get each unique weapon that falls under the category of guns. This guide is for the vanilla weapons only and does not feature any of the DLC unique weapons as I will be going over them and their armors in their own respective video. Unlike Fallout 3's unique weapons, Fallout New Vegas' unique weapons now have a unique appearance to their normal counterparts, making the weapon stand out from that of the normal variant. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular weapon, but without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is the Abilene Kid LE BB gun. This is a unique BB gun and can be found inside the field shacks. If you have the Wild Wasteland trait picked, you will need Rex as a companion and you will need to talk to Rex and pick his Aru dialogue option. This will create a new location called Jimmy's Well just outside of the field shacks where the BB gun will be located. The weapon has the same damage of that of a normal BB gun, however the crit damage has been increased from 4 to 70. The crit multiplier has also been increased from 1 to 1.5. Additionally, the item health has also been increased from 50 to 100. Next up is the All-American. This is a unique version of a Marksman Carbine and can be found inside the Vault 34 Armory. You will need to unlock the Overseer's Terminal in order to gain access to the Armory. Inside on an overturned table to the right will be the weapon. The All-American has an increase in damage from 24 to 26 and has a faster rate of fire. The weapon also has a lower spread from 0.04 to 0.035. Next up is the Big Boomer. This is a unique version of a sword off shotgun and can be found on Old Lady Gibson at the Gibson Scrapyard. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Lady Gibson for the weapon. The shotgun has a damage increase from 100 to 120 as well as a crit damage increase from 7 to 9. Additionally, the Big Boomer's spread has been decreased from 4 to 3.5. Next is the CC57 Avenger. This is a unique version of a minigun and can be found at Devil's Throat. Head to the location and at the centre of the location inside a blue destroyed truck will be the weapon. The Avenger does slightly more damage from 12 to 13 as well as having a much greater rate of fire. Additionally, the weapon has a decrease of spread from 1 to 0.55 as well as the weight being decreased from 25 to 18. However, this comes at the cost of the weapon having a lower weapon mag capacity from 240 rounds to 120. Next up is Dinner Bell. This is a unique version of a hunting shotgun and can be given to you at the Fawn by Red Lucy. Talk to Lucy about collecting new creatures for the Fawn and she will send you to collect eggs from multiple types of creatures where you will get the Bleed Me Dry quest. Upon completion of the quest, Lucy will give you Dinner Bell as a reward. You've indeed become the greatest hunter the Thorn has ever seen. The best I've ever seen. You've earned the honor of being part of this sacred ground. Come to me often and I'll share with you the wealth of the Thorn. Dinner Bell has a damage increase from 70 to 75 as well as a crit damage increase from 10 to 11. However, this comes at the cost of a lower weapon health from 200 to 150. Next is the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle. This is a unique version of a sniper rifle and can be found at Sniper's Nest. Head to the location and it can be found inside a very hard lock gun case which requires 100 in lock picking to open. The weapon has a slight damage increase from 45 to 48 as well as a crit damage increase from 45 to 80. The weapon also degrades slower than that of a normal sniper as well as having a lower weapon weight from 8 to 4.5. Next up is the Long Carabine. This is a unique version of a cowboy repeater and is carried by Corporal Sterling at Camp McCarran. If you have completed the free card bounty quest then he will move to Camp Fall on Hope. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Corporal Sterling for this weapon. The weapon has a slight damage and crit damage increase from 32 to 35. Additionally, the weapon has a lower weapon spread from 0.06 to 0.05 as well as a higher weapon health from 150 to 160. The weapon also has a higher crit chance from 1.25 to 1.5 and a higher magazine size from 7 to 11. Next up is Lucky. This is a unique version of a 357 Magnum and can be found at Prim. Head to Prim and head into the Bison Steve Hotel. Head into a small store section and inside a hard locks floor safe will be the weapon. Lucky has a damage and crit damage increase from 26 to 30. Additionally, its crit chance has been increased from 1 to 2.5 as well as its AP cost being decreased from 26 to 17. The weapon also has a decreased weapon spread from 0.5 to 0.3. However, this comes at the slight cost weighing half a pound more from 2 to 2.5. Next up is Maria. This is a unique version of a 9mm pistol and can be found on the person of Benny. You can either acquire this weapon by killing Benny at the Tops Casino or the Fort and looting it. You are also able to pickpocket the weapon from Benny. Be aware that if Benny is captured at the Fort and you choose for him to be crucified, you will not be able to acquire the weapon and it will become unobtainable. Maria has a damage and crit damage increase from 16 to 20. Maria's crit chance has been increased from 1 to 2 as well as having a higher rate of fire. Maria also has a higher weapon health from 150 to 200. 
Next up is the Mysterious Magnum. You can either pass a 50 bar to check during the quest talent pool where you find Axe for Tommy Torini at the top Aces Theatre. If successful he will give you the Magnum or he can be killed for it but it will fail the quest talent pool. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. The weapon has a damage and crit damage increase from 36 to 42. The weapon also has a much faster rate of fire, however comes at the cost of a lower weapon health from 250 to 150. Next up is Rat Slayer. This is a unique version of a varmint rifle and can be found within Brock Flower Cave. Follow the cave around until you come to a ledge leading to a makeshift laboratory. Next to a desk will be the weapon. The Rat Slayer has an increase in damage and crit damage from 18 to 23 as well as having a massive crit chance increase from 1 to 5. The weapon also comes equipped with every possible varmint rifle mod being extended mags, a suppressor and a night scope. The scope also has superior magnification of that of a normal varmint rifle scope from 2.86 to 3.5. The rifle also has a higher magazine size from 5 to 8 as well as a lower weight from 5.5 to 4.5. Next up is that gun. This is a unique version of a 5.56 pistol and can be found at Nova. Head into the Dino Bike gift shop, there are two ways to acquire this weapon. The first is simply to purchase the weapon from Cliff Briscoe or at night you can break into the storage closet to the right and inside on a shelf with rocket souvenirs will be the weapon. That gun has an increase in damage and crit damage from 28 to 30. Additionally, the crit chance has also been increased from 2 to 2.5 as well as a lower AP cost from 21 to 29. The weapon health has also been increased from 175 to 225. Next up is this machine. This is a unique version of a battle rifle and is given as a quest reward to the unmarked quest dealing with Contreus. To start the quest, either speak to Lieutenant Boyd or Contreus in the Camp McCarran airport. Be aware that you are only given the weapon by Contreus if he isn't turned in or by Lieutenant Boyd if he is. Siding with Keller will not grant you the weapon. Good to hear. Oh, and I think you might get more use out of this rifle than I ever will. Enjoy. This machine has a damage and crit damage increase from 48 to 55. This machine also has a weapon health increase from 300 to 600. The final weapon is Vance's 9mm SMG. This is a unique version of a 9mm submachine gun and can be found within the unmarked location called Wind's Hideout. To acquire the location, you must pass the 50 science check with Prim Slim. Well, look at that. I happened to cross this data file locked away in an isolated subsystem. Head to the location and within a very hard lock safe will be the weapon. You can also convince Sammy Wins to give you the combination to the safe. The weapon has an increase in damage and crit damage from 14 to 17 as well as a magazine size increase from 30 to 60. The weapon also has a weapon health increase from 550 to 750. And there we have all of the unique guns within Fallout New Vegas. I hope you found this video helpful and as always thank you for watching.